if i take a 3 by 3 grid like this total number of rectangles here will be 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube you should ask why that's what we are going to answer if i take a 4 by 4 grid like this total number of rectangles will be 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus 4 cube or for example if i take a chessboard which is an 8 by 8 grid total number of rectangles in a chessboard will be 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube etc etc up to 8 cube so why these two are exactly the same i am i'll help you understand using the pattern which we discussed just now now what is the pattern we discussed that 1 cube is 1 square 1 cube plus 2 cube equal to 3 square 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube equal to 6 square so these are and 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus 4 cube equal to 10 square now these are squares of triangular numbers so how these two are related in a diagram or can be connected using a diagram is what we are going to do first so let's take a simple diagram a 3 by 3 grid a 3 by 3 grid like this over here manually if we count the number of rectangles we'll anyway find a method here so first along the top row the first row how many rectangles are there along this line let's count the rectangles where the size is one by one so the these things will get highlighted what i am counting so this one by one is a square but which is actually as all squares are anyway rectangles also so one by one how many rectangles are there one two three as you can see here so there are three of them now how many rectangles are there which is of size two by one where i say two length is two and width is one so two by one rectangles are one and two so there are two of them how many rectangles are there where the size is three by one so it's just one the complete row right so that's one so there is a clear pattern right how many rectangles are there in this particular line 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is equal to 6 and we know that when we add numbers like this we will end up getting triangular numbers so we get 1 plus 2 plus 3 equal to 6 6 rectangles along the first row now take the first column here and how many rectangles are here here also if we count of size 1 by 1 it's 1 2 3 of size 1 by 2 it's 1 and two you just see the areas which are getting highlighted so there are two of them how many rectangles are there of size one by three it's a complete column so that's one so along this first column also how many rectangles are there total number of rectangles it's still one plus two plus three equal to six which is again a triangular number now if you consider the complete three by three grid we know that along the first row there are six rectangles along this row this column also there are six rectangles so overall there will be six into six 36 rectangles now that six into six is what we write as six square so 36 rectangles will be there in this whole diagram total number of rectangles will be 36 and how we got this one plus two plus three six along this row and six along this column the first row is six first column is also six so all columns and rows together there are three rows three rows and three columns total number of rectangles we can simply multiply six into six or six square equal to 36 now we know that six square can also be written as one cube plus two cube plus three cube is six square that is why total number of rectangles in an m in a three by three grid will be we can either take 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube or we can take 6 square they are all connected just to help you understand further let's do this in a 4 by 4 grid so manually if i take for, this is a 4 by 4 grid first row how many 1 by 1 it's 1 2 3 4 how many 2 by 1 it's 1 2 3 how many 3 by 1 it's 1 2 as it's getting highlighted how many 4 by 1 just 1 so total number of rectangles in this particular row will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equal to 10 similarly in the first column 1 by 1 it will be 1 2 3 4 
1 by 2 it will be 1, 2, 3. 1 by 3 it will be 1 and 2. And 1 by 4 it will be just 1. So the total number of rectangles along this column also will be 1, 2, 3, 4 which is 10. Now in the complete 4 by 4 grid, total number of rectangles will become 10 into 10 which is 100 or 10 square equal to 100. This can also be written as the sum of the first 4 perf perfect cubes which is 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus 4 cube. That is why total number of rectangles in this diagram will be sum of all the cubes up to 4 cube which is 1 cube up to 4 cube can also be written as 10 square equal to 100. So the total number of uh, rectangles in the chessboard will be which is an 8 by 8 grid will be sum of the first 8 perfect cubes which is 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube like this up to 8 cube. So this is uh, anyway not required for your exam but now you know lot more about uh, perfect cubes, lot more about squares, lot more about triangular numbers because you know how all of them are connected. First we uh, learnt that by using numbers, it became much simpler after visualizing those things in simple diagrams and uh, this is how we have been learning all the topics. So rather than uh, by connecting different formats using numbers, diagrams, words, variables, so you are at a much higher level once you start learning this way and I am sure all of you are really liking it.